Hi, my name is Arno and welcome to Hikevision Explained. Today I will be talking about a second generation IP intercom demo case. I will show you step by step how to configure the most important functions. This will give you the opportunity to experience all the features of this new product yourself. Before I tell you about this demo case and how to use it, first a little explanation about IP intercoms. Hikevision developed this intercom system in its convergence across the Hikevision product portfolio. This means you can combine this intercom with CCTV. From the palm of your hand, you can control all security products at once. All you need is the Hikevision Connect mobile application. And this is available for Android and iOS systems. This links into the common software platform IVMS 4200, which can manage all devices across our product portfolio. But first, the intercom demo case. Inside of the demo box, we can find we have an intercom unit, a door phone unit, two of them. We have a main unit, a name tag unit, and a keypad unit. And it's all working on PoE. It's all been pre-wired. The only thing we need to do from external is power it on by network and by power. So that's the only thing you need. Further inside of the demo box, we find a flush mount unit that can hold three units. So we can hold three models inside of it, of any choice. A wall bracket unit for a single model. And a wall bracket unit for two additional models. Yeah. The models that also include inside of this box is another main control unit. Secondarily, a name tag unit. A MyFact card reader, as you can see here. And also an indicator unit. So on this indicator unit, we can see the feedback of opening a door, microphone, and speaker. Now we are ready to configure this demo case with the intercom system. We're starting with the main door station. The main door station is important because we need to address the IP address for this. And this is the only one thing we need to do from the IVMS. So let's go to the IVMS firstly. Um, and as you can see, my device has already been added and has already been activated. When you will receive the device, it will also be already been activated if you order the demo case. So the demo case has already been activated code. In this case, it's using H lowercase ik, so it's HIC, and then one, two, three, four, five. This is important if you want to do remotely settings and just settings from the IVMS. Yeah. And of course, you can change it to your own needs uh, later on. Let's get into the IV mess. Inside of the IV mess, as you can see, I have the door station, the main door station here. I go into the remote configuration. And inside the remote configuration, I would like to show you one thing, and that's the in and outputs. Um, in and outputs, by default, it is one electric lock. So this is the default situation. Going back to the intercom, if someone calls me, as you can see right here, if someone has called me, I can control one lock. I can unlock the door like this. But I may have a garage or something else, a second door that I would like to open directly, or I want to control them individually. Then in the IV mess, I can set it up right here. So I can enable the, the second door, and this gives me the opportunity that I can control two locks back to the door phone, someone's calling me, and as you can see, now I can control two locks. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the door phone station. Um, let me show you how to configure this from the beginning. We go to system settings. Inside of the system settings, we go to the configuration. And as you can see, I need to type in admin password. The default admin password is 888-999. So I'm tapping in these credentials, so 888-999, and press enter. And as you can see right here, I can go to the wizard. Inside the wizard, I can select the language that I would like to use. I press next. I can set the IP address that I would like to use. 
If I would choose it from the DHCP, so I'm getting the address from the, the network that I'm using, I just enable this one quickly, and as soon as it gets the address it, uh, by the router, it will set the IP address fixed. So it's 127 is here. And I press next. I can set the, the door phone system as an indoor station, or I can set it as an extension. Because this is the first door phone, I will use the indoor station firstly. But if I'm using a second one, I might use this, assign this one as the extension. I assign the floor number and the room number, and this is important because these numbers are corresponding by the main control. So here is the main control. If I press this button, number one, or I press number two here, it needs to be addressed this way. Yeah, so it's okay for me. Press next. So now I need to link this door phone to the main controller. And as I mentioned before, in the IV mess, it's addressed to 130 IP address, and as you can see on the bottom, it's right here. I have I have multiple ones, so uh, normally you have only one, so you can address this one, and it's the finish. So now you've finished the basic configuration using the door phone. So now I'm able to use it. So if someone is calling me, the door phone rings, I can unlock the door as I mentioned before. I can press the button to have a photograph, so a photograph will be stored. I can swap an IP in this case, and I will show you how to do this, because I can instantly swap to an, to an external camera that's mounted from, uh, from anyone actually. So high vision uh, camera. Let me go back inside of the system and show you how to do this. We see this device management. And inside of the device management on the main door phone, I will see a plus sign. I hope you can see it on the screen. There's a little plus sign here. You need to tap this one, and now you're able to assign IP cameras to the system. I already did this. As you can see here, I named it Outdoor. So I, named, I give it the name. I put in the IP address of the camera. It's using the RTSP port 554. I give in the, the, the username and password and I press OK. This is the only thing you need to do. So when I'm back to the live screen, I can select Live View. So this will be this camera. But I can also easily swap to the external camera that I just assigned to. So this is my external camera. It will be visible for 30 seconds and then I can close it. OK. Another thing I would like to explain is the alarm inputs. The door phone accepts eight alarm inputs and we can address them to any, any of those that we like. Let me show this how this works. Before we can use the alarm inputs, please check in the control system if it's enabled. So we go to preferences and inside of preferences you can check mark the alarm. This means it will be visible and we can adjust it in the main screen. So now I can go back and you now this alarm zone setting is visible. As you can see, zone number one is now addressed as the doorbell. So when I will push this button, the doorbell rings. If we would like to use another doorbell function, or in another function actually, I can use an active infrared, a passive one, a gas detector, or doorbell or any other. Yeah, so I can play with it. I can I can assign this and address this to different ones. Now I'd like to demonstrate to you how to connect this iPad to our door phone station. Before we start, we go to the settings inside of the door phone. We go to the configuration. And there we find the Hit Connect server settings. We open this page. And in this page, we find the QR code. Now we're going inside of the tablet. Inside of the tablet, we can press the Add Device. This will open a scanner, and we'll be able to scan the QR code. But remember that your device needs to be connected to internet. We press Add, and this will take a couple of seconds, and this will prompt me when it's finished. So now it's finished. I could 
change the name of the device and then press save. So now I'm ready to receive phone calls from someone who's at my door. Let's give you a small demonstration how this works. Of course I will receive the phone call on my door phone. If I'm using an external, I will also receive it here and I will receive it on the iPad. But first I would like to explain to you how to open the lock. So I can control directly the two locks here. I can make a picture just to show you and, 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 and uh, memorize the picture. I can go directly to the external camera and of course I can respond to the phone call. Let me close it again. Another thing that we can do is open the door by keypad. In this case we can press the code number one and the main door station will ring as well. So what happens when I'm not at home? I'm not able to pick up and someone's at my door. What I could do, I can go into settings and I can enable the auto answering. What this does is when someone is ringing me at the door, it will prompt a, a message immediately. So, hi, I'm standing at the door right now. I will come back later if that's okay. Bye, see ya. So, I'm coming home and would like to see who was on my door before. I will get a notification. As you can see, I get a message. And I can choose this one. And I can see I have one message here and here. I can select it. I can hear it. And I can also see the image of this person standing at my door. This is all I would like to show you today. I hope you really like this video. Thank you very much.